everyone, what's up? It's me, Micah, and welcome to my bad collection video. Alam nyo, sobrang hili ko talaga manood ng mga bad collection videos from local to international YouTubers. I could just watch that all day. If you're interested, do keep on watching. Pero para sa inyo na hindi nyo naiintindihan yung love for bags or spending for bags and you're probably just gonna end up hating this video, I suggest that as early as now, just click out because I really promote positivity and love on this channel. I am in no way bragging the things that I have. But this is simply a way for me to personally share to you guys something that I have been loving for the past few years. Actually, sharing this collection is very personal to me. So I hope that you really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below if meron sa inyo na interested sa bags katulad ng sa akin. And I would love to talk to you guys about it. And now for the lippy of the day part of this video. So first up, naglagay muna ako ng lip balm. This one is from Kiehl's. Makita nyo to dun sa Japan haul ko. So this is the Butter Stick Lip Treatment. This has SPF 30 and this is in naturally nude and on top of that I applied a little bit of the Sunny's face in baked I cannot find you milkshake go but it's somewhere there all right let us begin so magsisimula muna ko dun sa dalawang bags na very similar and here they are tada so this is the first one and then this is the second one it's basically just this transparent bag with white leather trimmings and I really like it. They both actually came from Dove. PR package lang silang dalawa. Ang perfect nila for the beach so I decided to keep it. Next one is another transparent bag which you guys have probably seen on some of my Instagram photos. So here it is. You know I really really love this. I love the class because I like the classic style and the chain is also just so pretty acrylic siya from the closure palang to the chain i'm not quite sure what material this is but it's just you know plastic <laughs> Alam nyo, mukhang onti lang yung malalagay nyo dito but surprisingly, marami kayong malalagay. Ang kailangan lang is maglagay kayo ng mga, what do you call that? Parang compartments, mga pouches na magaganda kasi nakita lahat ng gamit nyo. Ang pangit naman kung magugulo sila inside. And this came from Bondi Studios. Bondi Studios is a local brand, by the way. I love them. I love their aesthetic. I love everything about their team, their movement. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the link to this bag in the description box down below if any of you guys are interested. Now I'm gonna head on to the bags with a little bit of a pinkish undertone. First up we have this Teddy Blake Kara bag. You guys know about this. I made an entire review out of this. I'm also gonna link that down below if any of you are interested in this. My code din ako doon. Please do use it. Actually, itong bag na to, binigay ko na to sa mom ko. Nagsishare sila ng sister ko dito. I only actually need one new bag. I don't know. Ganun ako eh. Parang feeling ko I just need one bag for every color except for black. Like black, you can never have enough. So here it is if you guys wanna get a closer look. <laughs> Next up is another nude with pinkish undertones and we have the circular Robin May bag. Christian was the one who bought this for me when he went to Taiwan. He gave it to me as pasalubong. So one thing I love about this bag is that it has gold hardware. Actually, yun talaga yung hanap ko sa bags, guys. Gold hardware. Anything gold hardware because, I mean, obviously, I'm just, I'm a golden girl. <laughs> Yellow gold to be exact. So that's why I fell in love with this immediately when he showed me. So thank you so much, Christian, for giving this to me. Next two bags are from Kate Spade and now it is getting so bright. So now it's bright and then later it's gonna get dim. Anyway, that's it. Yun lang. Sorry lang. <laughs> so, this first bag is this hot pink dome bag from Kate Spade. Trust me guys, I don't know what came over me and just led me to buying a hot pink Bag. But I mean, it's still so cute. It's such a statement piece and it's very good on monochromatic outfits. This is just super tiny though. Like, trust me, it is tiny. It, it looks like 
It's still quite big, but it's tiny. Surprisingly though, marami ako nalalagay na gamit dito sa loob ng bag na to. I mean, just the bare essentials, but that's good enough for me. So I got this from the States the second time that I went there. It was super sale. Unfortunately for me, I found out that Kate Spade pala, or this particular bag, I'm not sure if Kate Spade in general, it's getting so bright. Anyway, this particular bag is not real leather. Na-disappoint ako eh, kasi syempre bibili ka na lang ng mahal yung pinag-ipunan mo tapos magbabakbak rin pala so nagsimula siya dito ayan o oh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that but there on the sides it's starting to get washed out is that what you call it or fade and I just I'm sad I'm sad na ganito yung quality. However, tagal na rin naman ito. Mga 2016 pa to. So, okay, I guess that's kind of forgivable, right? The next Kate Spade bag is very, very special to me because my Ninang was the one who gave it to me. I'm not even sure if she's my Ninang or I just call her Tita Ayat. Tita Ayat, thank you so much for gifting me this super cute Kate Spade bag. I just love this. She gave it to me as a graduation gift. Sobrang sweet. And it has a long strap with it. Tapos, hardware is of course gold. Y'all know that I love my gold hardware. It also has a pocket right over here. Alam nyo, mas limited actually nalalagay ko dito kaysa dun sa maliit na bag na yun. I don't know why that is the case, but that is the truth. Nonetheless, I still think that this is such a cute everyday or even an event bag. Surprisingly for this one, I'm pretty sure this is not real leather as well. Pero it has held up really well. I've graduated for almost three years now. And it still looks the same as the first time that I got it. Next one is the bag that started it all. Like, ito talaga yung nagsimula ng love ko for bags. More than anything else, when I got this bag, ayun na yung time na I was like, okay, I want another one, I want another one, I want another one, I want another one. So, ipon, ipon, ipon until I got all of this. So, it is this Anne Klein bag. It's just a simple double flap bag with like this... What do you call this, guys? Um, there's something that... Am amulet talaga. No, um, shocks, anong tawag mo dito? Logo? No, not logo. There's something symbol. Anyway, it looks a lot like Versace. Actually, it's Versace, not Versace. I thought it was Versace too, but apparently it's Versace. It looks a lot like Versace, but it's really not. It's just Anne Klein. A lot of people ask me if this is Versace. No, it isn't. It says right there, it is Anne Klein. Ang mahirap dito is opening it because you have to pull. My gosh, see, I'm having a hard time opening it right now. You have to pull there. Yeah, no, you have to pull it down in order for you to open it and you have to pull it down again in order for you to get it through the lock. So yeah, it's just this double flap bag, very Chanel-esque and it has this long strap in a turquoise color. I just don't use it as often anymore but it's still so, so pretty and perfect for events as well. Alright guys, so now we head on to the bags over here. Oh wait, wait, actually I have another one pala here but I'm just gonna quit show you guys that and it is this huge huge bag from Fino. This is from Fino Leatherwear. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that because you probably see it in a lot of malls. Basta, I'm gonna link Fino's website down below. I'm not sure if they still have this, but this is in pure leather except for the strap because it is nylon. And I use this every time I go to work. Mga sleepover, basta mga ganon. So, if you guys want me to do an updated what's in my work bag, comment that down below. Since nagsimula na tayo sa Fino, I'm gonna head on over to my other Fino bag. So we have this one. This is just the perfect everyday bag for me. I love that meron siyang shoulder strap. Tapos doon meron din siyang cross body strap. There has a long strap and a shoulder strap. I love that. This was the only bag I brought when I went to Japan recently. In front, it just has this emblem. Oh, there it is! The emblem! That's the word. It just has this emblem that says Fino Leatherwear. Guys, I love Fino because Fino is a local brand that makes the best leather bags. Again, this is in pure leather. It's more of a pebbled leather kind of material. I like the pebbled leather style because I won't have to be like super careful with it. Because usually yung mga smooth leather, those are the ones that are so difficult to maintain. Now we're gonna go to the only backpack in this collection. And 
we have my Marc Jacobs small backpack. I actually use this for the gym because I'm really not a backpack person. So the only time I get to use this is when I go to the gym. You know, guys, what I love about this bag is that and yung compartments. And it looks small or tiny, but there's just so much I can put in here. Inabangan ko lang talaga to sa website nila na mag sale. I got it on sale for $100. So super worth it. A personal favorite of mine that is perfect for both every day and also for formal events is my Stella McCartney Falabella bag. This is what that looks like. I think this is in a size small or mini. I'm not quite sure but I just love everything about this. You guys already know it because I've raved about it on my Japan haul. It is also made out of vegan leather. I love their movement and of course I love the gold hardware. You can also fold it like that. That was weird as a clutch, the bar. So cute. Ito naman. This just took my breath away. I saw it. I think I saw this bag online like randomly. I just fell in love. I was just head over heels and now I'm never gonna let go of it. I know that for sure because it's just it's a perfect everyday bag. So this is my Celine Triumph bag. I mean look at the details on that. Sobrang ganda. Yun lang. Very smooth yung leather niya. Medyo mabilis siyang scratch, but actually it's holding up pretty well. I do have to clean it up a bit soon. One of the things I find really cool about this is the hardware that holds the strap and the bag together. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it's not really aligned. It's kind of curved. I know, guys. I'm so bad at explaining. Please forgive me. Anyway, yeah, I have so much love for this bag. As in, I love the small details. I love everything about it. There are also different compartments already, so di ka na mahihirapan na magdivide divide ng mga gamit mo. It's so easy for me to open this up, close it, and just get whatever I have to get from here. Like this is just such an easy bag. That's why I love it for everyday use. I don't ever think I'm letting go of this bag. Maybe I'm gonna pass this on to my children. So much love. So much love for this bag. We are done with that side. Now we move on to this part of my collection. Starting with this long champ lip liage. I'm still not sure if I'm saying that right. It's actually a long shot. Long shot. Le pliage. Le pli... <laughs> So, but I'm trying hard. Whatever. Long chop le pliage na lang, de ba? So, this is it. It's just a beige, simple, classic long chap bag. I love this for every day as well. At saka, it's so easy to throw on. And sobrang laki ng space niya. Feeling ko perfect din tong airport bag. And apart from that, you can literally just roll it up. And there's actually a way to fold this in order to make it look super duper small so that it's easy to pack. By the looks of it, this is gonna last me forever too because nylon and leather together trust me super unstoppable so the next nylon bag i'm gonna show you guys is this prada my gosh my own thing stain pa siya actually kamukha to nung long champ eh, for some reason this is an oldie but goodie bag a lot of people know about this bag you guys probably see a lot of people carrying the same exact bag if you think it's a structured bag it really isn't i just put this inflated plastic bag inside of it so that it wouldn't lose its shape na. But yeah, this is gonna be a forever bag in my collection. I love it and it's just so beautiful. Last two bags, the best in my collection. Like my most favorite, favorite, favorite bags in my collection. And I'm gonna start with the one that I'm going to let go of. So it is this Balenciaga City Metallic Edge in the size small. You know, this is actually the reason why I already did this bag collection video. It's because I'm letting go of this and I really want a remembrance of this bag. I don't know. I mean, me kasi, when I buy bags, like luxury branded bags, I make sure that they keep their value. If ever I would want to sell them in the future, I hope to get them sold for about the same price and not like a really big dip from how much I got it for. Balenciaga's resale value is so incredibly low. Namula talaga yung eyes ko when I watched Ashley Yap. Ashley Yap, yes, Ashley Yap's video when she got her Balenciaga City Metallic Edge size small. 
all for 20,000 pesos. And it wasn't that bad, ha? Like, there were just like a few scruffs here on the edge. There was really nothing wrong with the bag. Like, it just really needed a little bit of cleaning and repairing. But apart from that, it was in good condition. So this is in excellent condition. I mean, I got this just a few months ago. When I bought this, I had that in mind. Nah, it's such a beautiful bag. And I feel like it's really so swap with my personality. Pero habang tumatagal, na sobrang careful ko with it because of the color. Na natatakot ako na madumihan siya. Na natatakot ako na suotin siya. And it's not like I can wear it all the time or every day because it is a little bit flashy because there's just so much gold on it. That's why I decided, you know what? I spent quite a lot for this one bag. And if I won't get to resell it, if ever I decide to, for a good price in the future, then might as well just sell it now and get another bag in the similar color. Yun lang, masyado akong naging conscious with this. Kaya I just feel like it's better to let go. Maybe in the future, I'm gonna get a black version of this kasi I'd be more carefree with that. Yun talaga, I'll keep in my collection forever so I won't have to worry about resale value whatsoever. For now, for this bag, I just think na lesson learned. Personally, it's not wise to buy a beige bag that costs thousands and thousands of pesos. You're just gonna end up babying it too much. And the last thing that I wanna do is baby my bags because you bought those bags for that value for you to use it and not display it. Thank you so much. You've served me well. I love you. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give it na to its new owner. I'm happy that it has found a new home where I'm sure it will be taken care of for the rest of its life. <laughs> and now, to one of my favorite bags as well, next to that Balenciaga that's gonna say bye. So, ito na yung new favorite bag ko ever. It is my Louis Vuitton Alma BB. Here it is. It's just so beautiful. It's this dome bag with the damier ebin or ebin. I'm not sure how you pronounce ebin or ebin. Yeah, I just love everything about this. I'm so carefree with this bag. Dahil nga hindi vasheta yung leather niya. So hindi to magpapatina. This one is the treated leather. I love that about it. I love the gold hardware. I got this second hand, by the way, from Alvi Lover. I'm gonna link that down below. Also, where I got my Balenciaga, I'm gonna link that down below as well. There is just such a long wait list for this bag and when I saw it dun sa second hand store, Instagram store na yon, I was like, okay, I need to get it. The only thing that I hate about it is how I have to play Tetris whenever I put my things in this bag. As in, hindi siya magka-close. If hindi mo i-angle correctly yung mga gamit mo inside, it's so difficult. Like, it's so difficult to manage my things inside but I don't really care because I love this bag. I just love it. There you go, guys. That is it for this bag collection video. I hope that you enjoyed it just as much as I did showing it to you guys. If you have grown fond of some of the bags that I showed you today, please just ask away in the comment section down below. If you guys want me to do more videos like this one, comment that down below as well. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget na mag subscribe sa channel ko. So for today, you watched me, Michael Luis, and I cannot wait to see you again. Bye, everyone!